Welcome back to Punchers Toy Box, we're on episode 7, uh, so in episode I'm going to be attempting to repair this um, vintage Star Wars uh, land speeder. It's the um, Palatoy uh, variant, not the Kenner one. Uh, on the Palatoy one it's got a closed bonnet, on the uh, Kenner American version uh, the bonnet opens up and you can see, you know, you can see the engine and um, you can put... Um, Weapons and stuff like that, that's quite handy, but on the European version, I think to save down on, on costs and whatnot, Palatite uh, produced it. Um, closed. Um, so, yeah, it's quite nice. The landing mechanism works, the seats there, the screen's there, not too many scratches. Uh, the wheels are good and tight, the springs work. Um, but you can see it's got some missing its silver strip. Um, so, I've got um, one of those in preparation off a uh, this um, beast snap one got this for a fiver, which is quite good for parts. Where really. it's got a screen and it's got that same thing uh, going for it, really, on that one. Um, but there is a glaring error on this one in that it goes backwards, it doesn't really go backwards, but as you can see, the thruster is on the wrong way around. And at some point, it's not a factory error, it looks like at some point it's. Uh, come off or, or come loose or broken off, whatever, uh, and, and someone's glued it on uh, the wrong way around. Um, so, I need to say, gently remove it off there. Um, I'm a bit dubious about wiggling it off or cracking it open with a knife because I don't want to break this fin. Uh, so, I get some acetone makeup remover because uh, apparently ac acetone does break down super glue. So, I'm going to put some acetone just there with some cotton wool and hopefully it'll break down the super glue. And I can just wiggle it off, and um, yeah, so that's the, the, the probably the major thing um, that needs doing to it. Um, like I say, in this one, this broken one here, it's got a silver strip. It looks like it goes, looks like it's all one piece. I say I've never taken one apart before. It looks like it's all one piece. So I'm hoping just to take take that one off, uh, take it back off this. Take it back off that and just just stick it on, uh, and uh, that'll be it for that. Um, my concern about doing that, though, on this one, is that it has. Um, wait, come to focus. Um, it's got some cracks here. The plastic's quite thin. Um, some road, when I do take this part, that that plastic is just going to fall off. Um, so if I'm going to do it very gently and uh, push it back into place and put some plastic weld and hopefully uh, it, it push it back, it'd be a nice one. Um, solid piece can rather being cracks. Uh, I say just small repairs, but I'm going to attempt to sort out this first. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the next clip where I'm going to put some acetone onto it. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to put some masking tape uh, around the fin and the uh, engine for us to here, just leave a gap. Um, so the acetone um, doesn't go on the plastic directly, because uh, I don't want it uh, melted or stained, I just want it to melt the um, the crack in there to make the, this become looser. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so put some more masking tape around the um, the fin and thruster. Should I put some acetone in here or make it remover, whatever you want to call it. Ninety-nine oh, percent acetone. Hopefully, it won't damage it. Don't think it shouldn't do. Yopes. Let that soak up in there. And just wrap it around that. Okay, I'll let that sit there for a bit. Give a half an hour, maybe something like that. And hopefully, it'll dissolve the super glue. 
Well, we'll find out anyway. It's always, right, so we're back, it was always my biggest fear that the as I turned, went on to paint, and it did. Just there and there. Uh, but it's no big deal, you know, I, I can repaint that and give it a bit of a sheen with a gloss to match up with the rest of us. Uh, but, you know, the, the uh, acetone didn't melt the super glue, so it didn't work. Um, so then what I did, I did my first top, I was going to do it first, was get a knife and run it to the crack and gently push it and push it and push it. Um, yeah, that hasn't worked either, so it just will not come off. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Project could be a write-off. I don't know. I'll come back to this one, I think. I'll try, uh, try some other methods off camera. I don't know. I'm a bit annoyed about the acetone metal and uh, taking the paintwork. But uh, more enough, I'm more frustrated I can't get it off because, you know, I could... We t I could touch up the paint and leave it as it is, but it's not right. It should be the other way around. So the project could be a write-off. I don't know. I'll we'll come back to this one. Uh, so let's recap, shall we? Um, so the acetone didn't work. Uh, damaged the paint a bit and the plastic a bit. The knife going down the crack didn't work either. Um, so... I was going to scratch it off, put it down to experience because sometimes you know you, you do toy repairs and they don't work or you can't figure a way out of doing it but um, I'm not one to um, give in so in the end sheer brute force um, yeah if in doubt give it a clout because worst case scenario I break the tail fin and I just buy another um, band speeder um, that is with a tail fin that's missing all the bits because I got you know all the good parts the 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 chair the springs the, the you know the um, the hand gear mechanism because they're the most priciest bits so I could always use those again um, so yeah sheer brute force so I've given it a whack I whacked it several times and it came off relatively uh, cleanly um so yeah let's go that and here's the part now um it's obviously looking at it it's it's had or it did have two tabs in here um because these two holes here uh, all this was filled up with um glue and plastic so it looks like the that did have two tabs originally, and that's how it's fitted on. But I, I don't know why you ever glued that on. Why would not just leave it um, as it was? Um, so yeah, I've scraped out all the rubbish out of there. Um, I did try to cut the. I did try to cut it in half, hoping I could take this top bit off, and I could see what's going on inside, and, and take it off that way. But that didn't quite work. So anyway, like I said. If it doubt, give it a whack. Give it. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's off now. Yeah, she need to repair these bits now. Uh, while I start to cut in, so I got some uh, milli put and just fill those cracks in. Luckily, the milli put, uh, the milli put I do have is terracotta coloured. So um, yeah, that's gonna be quite straightforward to do. Uh, so I'm gonna fill those gaps in. And then uh, straighten this bit off, make it nice and straight again. And that's just going to sit um, on top there like it's intended to. Already uh, prepared some milli put uh, before I've done this. So it's a um, two part compound, 50 50 mix. Um, and it goes, luckily, the, the, the mini cut I got is a terracotta colour, which I've said, so that's handy. Um, it's the same colour as that. Um, so, yeah. And get a wet wipe, just wet this, it just makes the milli put a bit better to uh, stick to the surface.
Right then, so um, I've sorted out the paint on that. Um, um, luckily, I had some crimson, crimson red um, acrylic paint from an art set, which I watered down, so it makes it more thin and ball and, and pliable to uh, uh, smoother and plastic surfaces. So yeah, that's all been uh, sorted now. So it looks as it was before. In fact, maybe you know, fractionally better. I've um, just roughed it up a little around the edge there to to make it fit in with the original patina how it was before um, as you can see there um, I put some uh, what's that, what's that? no that side um, yeah so the milli put was uh, in that little gap there where I cut into it uh, so that's all sanded in now um, sanded in now um, I put a bit of a uh, gloss over it to um, just shine up it so it doesn't look a dull. Uh, the plastic underneath here, underneath here there's quite a lot of super glue residue uh, so I sanded it and I buffed up the plastic with um, some toothpaste so now it looks as though um, let's see yeah looks a lot better paint job's good um, this is a bit roughed up here that's because Obviously when it was, it was glued into place there was a bit of glue here so I had to sand this. Um, um, this is all nice and flat now. I did have like milliput all across there but I cut it and sanded the shape so it's all one, uh, one straight surface. So that sits quite nicely on there now. Like so. uh, I'm just going to buff this up a bit. Uh, to, buff, to buff plastic it's got scratches or just a bit of blemish, just put a bit of toothpaste on it. Just a smidgen like that. Get a microfiber cloth and literally just polish it in. Like so. So the next thing now is to is take it apart, take the silver trim off the other lance beater and uh, uh, glue it into place. I'll probably also give that a bit of a clean as well because I noticed when I was tidying up uh, that and sometimes quite a bit of dirt so I'm going to give it a bit of a clean as well. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so I've took the old land speeder um, apart. It's quite uh, straightforward. There's a screw um, there, there, there. And there, uh, so just unscrew them uh, and just ply them apart with your, with, your, with your fingers. There is one part in here which is quite awkward uh, to get off. You just put a screwdriver in it and it will pop off. So, that's what the old one uh, looks like inside. So, there's the springs and whatnot. So, I took the strip off. It wasn't one solid piece, it was two, just two little silver strips and basically that was just tucked in there and stuck to that. It's, it's as simple as that, I, I thought it was one continuous thing, uh, but it's not. Um, so I've given that a good clean, that was yellow, brown with sticky um, residue. Not too dissimilar from all that on there, but it was all brown and horrible. Uh, so to get rid of it, I used um, some uh, methylated spirit and some com cotton wool and just went all over it. And uh, it all came off, so that's ready now, nice and clean, uh, ready to be um, stuck on there. If you are taking, uh, if, you, if you're going to take your land speeder apart, once you take the screws out, make sure the, the gear stick is in the uh, floating mechanism because if it's not, it'll, it'll scratch the strings. And uh, just gently pull that to one side. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, before I put the strip on, strips on, I am going to tackle this bit here where it's a bit cracked to the front. I'm just going to put some. Uh, plastic world and hopefully just make that one um, one constant uh, solid piece rather than being a bit broken. Didn't come off thankfully.
Right, so plastic wad's gone off. Oh, can you see? There you go. Looks bob on that. And it was a, it was a slight black mark. Uh, just there. Um, so I just slightly sanded it and put some more plastic wad on. And now it looks well, no cracks at all. Yeah, looks good. I'm happy with that. Good work, good stuff that plastic one. Uh, see a bit of it clean now while I'm here. Um, some sort of black grey in there. That's a lot better for. Um, on the springs here, it's a bit stretched compared to all the other ones. So I'm going to take that one off, I think. Take off, ask a question. See, that other one was useful for something else as well. Uh, okay, so it's time to put the um, silver strips on, I think. No. Yeah. So you just need to give this um, a clean, so it's got a nice um, clean surface. And then we'll um, put, uh, get some glue spray, spray the strips and put them on. Okay, so um, I put the silver strips on. I did start filming it, uh, but I didn't press the record button. Uh, quite fortuitous, really, because uh, I arrayed a right mess. Uh, I used this stuff, uh, spray adhesive, and um, I didn't read the instructions properly. I used to work in electronics retail, and customers used to bring things back to me. So it doesn't work, it's not working properly. And I was like, well, have you read the instructions for the manual? Uh, 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 no. Well, go back, come back to me. If it's not doing what it should be doing, go and read the manual, go on. Uh, so I didn't read the back of this properly. And you're supposed to use it from 25 centimeters high and on a small spot first. Um, I didn't, I did it from about yay high and ah, uh, the glue went everywhere. And the force of the thing, it was, it was just, I couldn't believe how powerful it was. And my hands got drenched in it and got glue all over my backing board and everything. But anyway, I cleaned it up and the seal strips are now in place. So quick recap. So uh, this came off with a hammer in the end. I think the acetone may have helped. Maybe I'm trying to justify myself by using it and hopefully it did help. Um, I did cut into uh, this. Uh, so I've repaired that. I've actually gone back to it and just done a bit more tinker on it here and here, but you can't see the you can't see it as bad now. And yeah, so put a bit of gloss on it to match the rest. So 
you, you know, it looks a lot better. I don't know why it's when I uh, whacked it with a hammer and started cutting into it. Uh, so that's sorted, so I'm just going to glue that in place on there. And we also fix the cracks on there by using um, uh, some plastic weld. So I'm just going to glue this on, uh, take some pictures of it outside, uh, the diorama. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Um, so hope you enjoyed the journey of me um, doing this, hope you found it, found it interesting. I uh, hope it inspired you to have a go at fixing uh, some of your toys that might need a bit, a bit TLC or a little bit broken. Uh, if you like the video, uh, press the like button and subscribe button for future videos. And um, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.